What's up, people? Punch here. I wanted to show you a free-to-play game called Battlegrounds 3. I think it just came out uh, either today or yesterday. And it is a Half-Life 1 mod, I think, that is being used. Kind of like, you know, you played Day of Defeat 1 or Day of Defeat Source, the original Counter-Strike, and maybe Source as well. As some other mods that have come out, like I know Empires was another one, and then Neo Tokyo. Just kind of, you know, deathmatch stuff. And it's just different types of, um, like, for this one, for example, it's, it's kind of like Hold Fast Nations at War, if you ever played that. To where it's the 1800s, you're using muskets, and you're coming at each other with rifles and melee weapons and so on. And doing objectives. And the issue that I have with this game when you first start is the melee weapons completely suck. They're, honestly, the insta-kill, if they hit... And what I mean by hit is that it does like a an animation like a slicing or flourish. And it doesn't really do much. There's no blocking like Mordhau or Chivalry. It's just spam moving hell out of it until you probably kill him with a melee weapon. As far as the gunplay is concerned, muskets and the maybe the throw bowls like the bombs or the long rifle. It's I'm pretty sure they still have the same thing to where your shots are not always going to hit when you're aiming. I'm not entirely sure if that's true 100% because it seems like when I was aiming, I would get kills from pretty far away. And that was before I decided to go with the other uh, class, which is there's, there's six classes or six loadouts to choose from. And the one that I went with, which was the fin Frontiersman, and you get the Long Rifle which is supposed to give you better accuracy from range. And I would get off kills with it a bunch, but the other guns didn't seem like it was that much. So it might have it might be that they're complete wild like normal muskets, which is they don't go straight cuz rifling and so on, you know how it is. As far as the um anything else, settings are just like anything Valve related whether it be Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, Team Fortress, you know, the same old spiel, same old settings. And the in-game talking, you know, people using their microphones, it's really annoying. You might want to turn that off because when you go in, even people that sound quiet sound incredibly loud. It's like they're literally yelling in a trash can and it's disgusting. So I had to make sure to mute that before starting this video. As far as, as, far as is it worth playing? Well, it's about five, six gigs. It's free to play, and there are people playing. I think currently right now there's about 123 players as of this recording playing on Steam. So there are people for sure. But just be aware that if you're going in there thinking that it's going to be like the one game I think we played a long time ago called uh, Pirates, Vikings, and Knights, or Knights, Pirates, something like that. That game was honestly superior compared to this. And... As I said, it's a mod, so I mean, I'm not going to bash on it too much. Will this be updated? I, I do not know. I really picked it up, played it, and I thought I'd show you guys it since it's just recent. But it is something you should at least check out. It's low gigs, there are people playing it, and it was kind of fun for a little while until we had to deal with one hacker that was inside the floor. He was just reloading his gun and shooting people. So... Thought I'd give you guys a notice for this specific game. If you like what you see, go ahead and press that um, follow button or subscribe button. And that'll be it for me. Later, guys.